Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about bandwagoning. And for those of you that don't know what bandwagoning is, it's basically like, say there was about 10 peanut companies, and all of the peanut companies at one time were all the same, they did the same thing, had the same amount of success, and then one day, <coughs> um, one peanut company just decided to win all of the awards, become like the best recognized peanut company out in the U.S., and then um, all of a sudden, people that weren't fans of that company, and they said were fans of others, um, started pouring in, started rushing in, and uh, supporting that peanut company. Uh, that would be considered bandwagoning. And in the modern day, like the NBA, um, people that follow the Golden State Warriors are most likely considered uh, bandwagoning because bandwagoning is when everyone kind of goes towards the most successful team because as like a fan because there's so much success and if they go out there and say you know hi I'm a Warriors fan they uh they're much more respected than people like me <laughs> where I'm repping my Boston because if I wore this about eight years ago I would have been considered a bandwagon because of their success but um, why do people bandwagon that's a question that most people don't think about when they uh, look at bandwagoners. And it's actually pretty simple. Bandwagoning is just simple for people because it helps them get popular because they'll be um, in a respected place with many other people that share that same opinion so they can go out with like their Kevin Durant or Steph Curry jersey and everyone will be like, hey, like, what's up? Like, you know, all this respect and positivity because of what they're wearing, not knowing that they're only in it for the bandwagon. No, true fans to a different team will get mad at bandwagoners because they know what it's like to be with them for 10 plus years and then just watch people leave to go follow success. But bandwagoning is sometimes the best choice and only choice for people because, um, say, you're a guy that's a fan of a team that no one really respects, all you get is hate for it, and then one day you decide to bandwagon and now you're making all these friends, socializing with people just because you say you're a fan of this team. Well, now it's really respectful for you to bandwagon because now you yourself are getting tons of positivity and happiness because of making this simple decision that hundreds, thousands, millions of people are following too. So if bandwagoning didn't exist, well, it would provide a lot more color to sports and the world in general, but it also provides a unique element in that before you even heard of bandwagoning, um, people kind of had like you know different special needs and desires of teams and stuff, and now you can jump on a bandwagon whenever you feel that you're just... <laughs> whatever you like isn't exactly into it and then you'll be with hundreds of people that are the same you know mind as you and it will just be helpful for you in the future but um i wouldn't personally actually say bandwagoning is the thing for everyone to do though because you need to establish yourself as someone who uh who goes out and pursues their own needs and not someone that's just going to hop on the next train whenever it arises. And uh, that's one of the most important things as a person is to be special. You can't have millions of people liking and doing the same thing. You have to have specialization. You have to have uniqueness. And if there's no uniqueness, then the world isn't exotic. So as much as bandwagon helps people, it actually hurts society in the end because you can't have everyone liking one thing. This dude, that will just run into too many problems and too much negativity will happen because then the thousands of other people that aren't fans of the million <coughs> following subject, um, they're going to be very mad that they're getting left out in the dust by these people that just want to go out there and be popular. But uh, ultimately, it's up to you whether you want to bandwagon or not, just know 
why you're bandwagoning, who you're bandwagoning to, and what that means if you're bandwagoning. Because you, if you just throw yourself out there and bandwagon to a company like Apple or NBA, NFL, anything, um, you got to know that if you go, you're going to get haters from people on their rival companies or their rival teams or whatnot. And uh, you have to be willing to accept that in order just to get that, you know, popularity and say you're part of this and that and not what you used to be and you used to be unique.